the month is actually my car. I absolutely adore it. Like, I didn't think that I would fall in love with it, but I really did. So, okay. We let you decide. I know it's super messy. It's like a college student. In the steering wheel, we have all the features of having accessibility of not touching the center, media center thing, and then you could also hook up your phone in order to make calls directly, um, like voice command type thing. So if you have Siri, I mean, it works out too, but I mean, if you don't have something that works out like that, you just Bluetooth it and then you press this button and then you say who you want to call and then it calls for you. And then obviously you have your cruise control and stuff like that. I never really use this button. I don't know what this one is to be honest. And this one shows all your different kind of trip settings and then resetting. I'm supposed to get like 33 miles a gallon for highway, which I am, I think I'm getting, but my um, little setting thing says 32. So that's the only negative thing. Like they're all like one mile below what they advertise. So I don't know if it's something that I'm not like doing correctly or if I'm not driving like, um, at 65 miles per hour or if it's because I haven't just driven it straight highway. Oh, and then my favorite feature is the EcoBoost. So sometimes it'll have like, say you're just going straight through traffic and you want to um, get the best mileage for it, so you just click this and then supposedly the guy said that it's supposed to get like up to 40 miles per gallon. So I've yet to experience the perfect 40. I mean, when I first bought it, I was taking it home and it said 40 miles per gallon. I was super excited, but obviously after driving it a lot more, it evened out to like 32. This is the media center here. We have your AC um, adapter, your auxiliary cable, and your USB. My favorite is the USB because I have an iPhone and an iPod, so I just plug it in there and then it hooks up to the entire system and I can easily control it on my steering wheel. The only bad thing about the USB though is when you have a bunch of songs on your iPod or your iPhone, it's a bitch to like go through because it either goes to the main menu and then you have to search through all the songs and then stuff like that. So you have to set a playlist in order to be accessible to the songs you want. I love my butt warmers. It's super awesome, especially when it's cold and I get cold very easily. So those are great features and it comes on both sides of the passenger and the driver. We also have the phone capabilities, so you can hook up your phone to the entire car, which as I mentioned on the steering wheel had the calling and the hang up uh, feature. Click this for radio and click this for CD or your iPod or I think that's about it in terms of what you could hook up to this media center. It used to have Sirius XM, but then it expired, so I'm very upset about that, but I'm not gonna pay for it, so sorry. I really like this, cause then like, I could just throw stuff in there and it's like really accessible and there's two compartments to put crap in and another cool feature is my sunroof slash moonroof slash I don't know what else you call it I've always wanted a convertible growing up so this um, suffices I guess you could say because of the little insurance thing and so I could have like an open top kind of thing but without having the sports or whatever kind of insurance problem that a convertible would have here's the sunroof you have to push up here to open it this is technically the moonroof part of it. And then, oh, it's going to the center already. I'm really not talented when it comes to pushing the right buttons to opening things properly. So that's what happens. Oh, there it is. So that's just the moonroof by itself, which you could do in the, at night or in, during the day, but probably be too hot to leave it open like all day long because the sunlight comes in and then it traps heat. In here so then your air conditioning is working twice as hard but that's besides the point it's still cool and especially at night it's super pretty i don't know if you can tell but my favorite color is blue so the second best thing about the car is that it has blue lighting it would show it properly so i got blue here blue here and oh and here too because you have a bmw and it was orange and i really disliked it I was, that was one feature i would have changed about the car because i didn't like the lighting in it so, I was super excited when the Hyundai's have blue colors. And the back, we have more cup holders, and this comes down. It's perfect for the drive-in, so you could just set this down, and you could have all this space, and you could lay out. And I guess you could technically go camping in here, too, because of the amount of space it has. It looks really small, but actually fits a lot. And my car is so special that I've only seen it once on the freeway. Here's the trunk space, 
Clearly, I have a bunch of water bottles and other stuff to hold it. It did come with a first aid kit, which I would highly recommend to get, even if you have to make it yourself, because you never know when you're going to need band-aids or any other stuff in that. It did come with the cover, so I would definitely recommend getting that, so that way you could hide the stuff that's in the back seat or in the back of your car just to protect those kind of things. Also, a good thing about the car, it's very short, which is perfect for me because I'm only 5'2", so that means it's probably like about 4'8", maybe, four, I don't know. Anyway, point is, I can reach over it when I'm washing it, which is great, so I don't have to get a freaking ladder to get the top of the car. I really like the sportiness and the, like, the sleekness of the entire car. I mean, it doesn't look like an SUV, and it doesn't look like a regular sedan, it just looks like a hybrid of something, but I can't really tell what it is. But it just looks super cute because, like I said, I haven't seen my car out on the road, so it's super exciting. And yeah. And even though the car looks really small, it's actually really roomy inside. I guess it set up to five people, and the front has a lot of leg room. And because it's a little bit more low to the ground, it has like more leg room from here to there versus spreading it out that way. So, I mean, it works out that way always love black cars and so finding this was really great I also love tan leather seats because they are cooler when you leave the car on the Sun but I'm really messy so I have black um, carpeting which is really awesome because then you can't see my mess as much and it works really well with the car so we have black on the floor and then tan leather seats to keep the seats cool and then you can still hide my mess and that's that so I hope you like my car because I really love my car. It's like a hidden gem that I, my mom found, so I'm super excited about it. Um, be sure to check out my other videos, which I'll link below, or there'll be videos right here somewhere by my hand. And I will see you all next time. Bye.